Now it's time to test our system to make sure that it meets the design specifications that we intended. Now remember we had the on off switch that controls the PID and, and the power, it, the whole system. And then we have this on off switch here and that's for the bottom receptacle that we have isolated from the top one. Now that's for an accessory, a water pump, a radio, whatever you want. And I've got that hooked to light bulb number one and this is light bulb number two that we're going to use to indicate that it's either working or not and this is the heater element so let's first test I've got it plugged in so if I turn that switch on the light comes on so that means that the water pump is now working or the radio or whatever what have you and I'll turn that off now if I turn the system on it'll go through its self test and you'll notice I've got this set at 85.1 degrees but right now it's reading 82.4 so my heater element is on because the PID is it's telling that heater element give it some power it's, it's giving me giving it power in order to achieve that temperature now let's see what the output is if you push set one time it says 100 that's 100 percent output on the heating element in order to bring that from 82 to 85 degrees now let's turn that off so we're back to our set value 85.1 and it's right now 82.9 so if I grab this thermocouple and it senses my body temperature you'll notice it start to rise and as it starts to rise once it gets close to that 85 degrees it's going to let's push it on the power and see how much power output is giving it and it will probably just drop down to zero as soon as it achieves that there it goes so now we're at 85.7 degrees 86 now as that cools down you'll notice that the your percent of power output will again show up because remember we're set at 85.1 here just push the set button and watch it and as this starts to drop back down that PID is going to sense that temperature and it's going to provide the appropriate amount of power to light this light which indicates that the heater elements being energized again that's what makes these so cool because they're like cruise control in the car let's give it a few seconds to cool down oh, you see that now it's pop see that? it's coming on it's trying to give it, it and now it's testing what has, has the amount of energy I've given is that enough to bring it there you'll notice that the numbers are changing it it either gives 80 percent 90 percent or 100 percent power and now it's noticed that nothing has happened so it's going to provide 100 percent power and it's going to continue to do that until it achieves and maintains that 85 degrees there it goes it's now 84.9 so that's how PID works so that's our PID tested and verified and it meets the specifications so I'll get ready to ship that out so what are your questions until next time whatever it is you do please if it makes you happy do it as often as you possibly can happy brewing